1947 D. Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 67 Plus. According to Heritage Auctions, this is an impressively well-struck example, showing satiny luster from an early dye state. Pastel multicolor toning graces each side, and there are no bothersome abrasions. The 1947 D is relatively plentiful with full steps, although superb gem examples are scarce, and examples are prohibitively rare finer. It was sold for $2,040. Number 7. 1915 D. Lincoln sent in MS 65 plus red condition. According to NGC, this issue is only moderately scarce, and then only in the higher grades. Most examples are less than fully struck, with the reverse dyes in particular showing signs of overuse. The Denver Mint employed some 114 dyes for sent coinage in 1915, but this figure was not broken down in the director's report by obverse and reverse. This specimen fetched a price of $2,040 at auction. Number 6. 1934 Lincoln sent in MS 68 red condition. According to Heritage Auctions, those in search of the finest 1934 Philadelphia sent need look no further. This remarkable example exhibits rich orange gold color, and the lustrous surfaces appear devoid of contact. The fields have an orange peel texture due to long and used eyes, but the strike is bold and carbon is limited to a solitary pinpoint fleck above the left upright of the N in scent. It was sold for $3,600. Number 5. 1945 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS-68 condition with full steps. From the last year of the silvery alloy wartime composition, distinguished by the large D. Mint mark in the field above Monticello. Both sides yield radiant satin luster that is virtually untouched, cast in lovely concentric multicolor hues. The strike is sharp, and this is one of few full steps examples of the issue that PCGS has certified MS-68. It ended up selling for $5,160. Number 4. 1971 D. Kennedy Half Dollar. Highly elusive error 50 cent piece struck on a wrong planchet, that is 40% silver planchet. It weighs 11.59 grams. According to Stax Bowers this exciting offering is for a 1971 D. Kennedy Half Dollar, an issue that was produced using the then new copper nickel clad composition, struck on a 40% silver planchet in error. As the Denver Mint used the composition for its 1970 D. Half Dollar issue, distributed only in mint sets, this planchet was obviously left over from the preceding year's coinage. Boldly struck with satiny luster, both sides exhibit only the lightest suggestions of toning to otherwise silver-gray surfaces. Exceedingly rare, and of great significance to advanced mint error enthusiasts. It was sold for $9,900. Number 3. This is 2001 P. Sacagawea dollar struck on a nickel planchet. Graded in mint state 61 by NGC. The strike is nearly flush with the upper right obverse and lower right reverse borders. The difference in size between the dollar dies and nickel planchet has resulted in the loss of only the top half of the letters in the words United States of on the reverse and a few minor details along the lower left obverse border. All features that are present are fully impressed and sharp, the surface is bright with satiny mint brilliance. A thin, shallow obverse scuff over and behind Sacagawea's head is the only impediment to a higher mint state grade. It was sold for $10,200. Number 2. Here is 1943 Lincoln cent struck on a silver dime planchet. Graded in mint state 65 by NGC. Fully brilliant and sharply struck on all but the extreme edge of the coin where the smaller dime planchet was stretched nearly to the width of the Lincoln cent by the force of the dies. Blazing white and lustrous with no signs of toning. The strike is so sharp even the VDB on Lincoln's shoulder is clear a feature often lacking on normal 1943 cents on steel planchets. Of course all 1943 mint errors have a sort of magical appeal because of the fame of the 1943 cents struck on regular copper planchets, of which only a modest number exist. It was sold for $10,575. Number 1. This is 1921 S$ struck 20% off center. Graded in mint state 62 by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, the struck portions are fully defined with intense satin luster, the crescents of virgin planchet with no individually mentionable marks, and the entire package fully untoned and brilliant. The clock position of the error means that the date area is off the flan, but the style of the portrait and eagle leave no doubt that this is a 1921 dated Morgan dollar, and the S mint mark is crisp on the reverse. It ended up selling for $14,400.
That wraps up today's episode. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and smash subscribe button down below.